With the latest Nintendo Direct, we finally got our first in-depth look at Mario Tennis Aces and it seems like developer Camelot is back in full force. Originally revealed in January's Mini Direct, Mario Tennis Aces has a lot of work to do if it's to restore the once glorious name of the Mario Tennis franchise, and perhaps even Mario sports titles overall to the podium on which they once stood. With 2017's disappointing Mario Sports superstars still looming large over the entire Mario Sports franchise. For several generations now, Mario Tennis has disappointed fans time and time again. We all know about the travesty that was Ultra Smash, a game which at its core played a good game of tennis, but felt like nothing more than a tech demo. Gone was tournament mode, mini games, and even the court variety we were accustomed to. Few could believe it when the game they purchased and played was near identical to the E3 demo we saw in 2015. Go back a few more years, and even the 3DS entry, Mario Tennis Open, was distinctly lacking in the content department. With Mario Tennis Aces though, it looks like everything may finally be coming together for Camelot. Few would dispute that the last truly great mainline Mario Tennis game we got was Mario Power Tennis on the GameCube, which we later saw ported to the Wii. This was a game that took everything good from the original N64 Mario Tennis entry and turned it up to 11. More characters, more stages, a huge variety of mini-games and a wealth of unique courts, many with unique and interesting gimmicks to mix up the gameplay. The high production value and overall quality of this game is exemplified by the still unmatched CGI intro. This intro set the scene for the game perfectly and underlined that Camelot were the kings of Mario spin-offs in this era. Mario Tennis Aces looks to be taking a Breath of the Wild, tipping the tea table approach to the fundamental mechanics of Mario Tennis. For the first time in the series, we're going to see major changes to the underlying basics of the tennis gameplay. All the standard shots we know and love from previous entries are back, but built on top of this basic gameplay are many levels of advanced nuance. First up are the brand new zone shots, letting you briefly pause the action and precisely aim where you want a powerful shot to go. These zone shots introduce us to a new 3 hit health gauge for both your own and your opponent's racket. If you can time your return of a zone shot right, you'll get the ball back with no problem. Fumble to hit the shot back though, and your racket takes damage. 3 hits and you're out of there. By the sounds of it, you only have a limited number of rackets at your disposal, meaning a match and potentially tournament forfeit if you're out of rackets. Scary stuff to really pile on the pressure in those late tournament rallies. Then we have Zone Speed, the defensive alter ego to the offensive zone shot. Zone Speed slows down the world around you, giving you those vital extra milliseconds to reach and return even the toughest winners. To balance zone shots and zone speed, these abilities come under the influence of a new energy gauge system. How much energy you expend to pull off a zone shot or zone speed is up to you, meaning you need to decide in a split second whether a winner is worth using up your energy gauge to chase down with zone speed, or whether to bide your time and punish your opponent in those vital break points with as many zone shots as you can muster. This gauge normally fills up at a slow pace as rallies proceed. But Aces also introduces a new trick shot mechanic, which if pulled off successfully, gives a huge boost to your energy gauge. This is a risky move which seems difficult to perform, but it adds a huge element of risk and reward to the gameplay, with success handing you the energy gauge boost you need for an edge in those all important set points. And if you can fill up your energy gauge entirely, you can unleash the most powerful new shot at your disposal, the special shot. This shot is a real game changer, with huge speed and power, sufficient to destroy your opponent's racket instantly if they miss the narrow window for a successful block. A useful shot to have at your disposal in those crucial moments. This zone shot and speed mechanic certainly calls back to the offensive and defensive power shots we saw in Mario Power Tennis, but seem a definite refinement on the system, which frequently slowed the pace of rallies to a crawl given the long animations these power shots had. Now, rather than the somewhat random timing of being rewarded with power shots on the GameCube, we have a clear cut system to reward you with these shots, and a much greater sense of control over when and where to use zone abilities. These new mechanics are hugely important. In recent years, many fans have grown weary of the chance shots introduced in Mario Tennis Open. This mechanic was terribly named, there was no chance to it at all. These shots turned what was a previously tense, open match into a simple game of running to the glowing spot and pressing the right button. The immense power of these shots meant that players had to use this mechanic or be at a huge disadvantage. 
With Mario Tennis Aces though, it looks like Camelot may have finally found a sweet spot between simplicity and complexity, with the opportunity to refine the Mario Tennis experience for the better. Thankfully, zone abilities can also be turned off for the purists or newcomers out there, so classic Mario Tennis gameplay is also present for those wanting some more original Mario Tennis action. I find myself rejoicing mostly though at the inclusion of a fully featured story mode, as confirmed in January's Mini Direct. From initial impressions and a second look in this latest spotlight, it's increasingly apparent that this story mode does not follow the RPG roots of handheld Mario Tennis entries, but that's not to say that this story mode doesn't look like a stellar inclusion. The variety of challenges in this mode continues to grow as we see more of the game, with increasingly exciting and varied environments on show, and some bosses bringing back nostalgic feelings aplenty. Thankfully, from our glimpses of this story mode, it's also looking increasingly likely that the courts available will have a vastly greater scope than the paltry lineup we had in Ultra Smash, with lush jungle stages, abandoned forest temples, and a Super Mario 3D World-esque Conqueror Canyon style desert court already shown. And not to mention the fantastic graphics of all these stages and game overall, which are looking crisper and sharper than we've ever seen in the series. It seems like we won't just be confined to story mode or local matches to test our skills, with the promise of a fully featured online experience coming too. Aces boasts not just online matches with friends, but also global tournaments, with tantalising new costumes and characters as huge bonuses to those who dig into the game's online offerings. Make note that these outfits could also hint at a fully featured costume assortment too, bringing to mind the styles available in Mario Tennis Open, and more so the huge customization options available in 2014's Mario Golf World Tour. Watch this space! With the inclusion of further features like motion controls for those who may be interested, and of course the amazing surprise inclusion of Chain Chomp as a playable character, it seems like there's good reason to rejoice with Mario Tennis Aces. Let's keep our fingers crossed, but it's starting to look like Mario Sports games might be back, and bigger than ever. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd be hugely grateful if you would hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you thought of the recent Nintendo Direct, and whether you're excited for Mario Tennis Aces as I am.